I'm Jeff Nimnick. And I'm Rick Paulette. And we're the hosts of The Last Stand. Coyote hunting is my passion. And coyote calls are my livelihood. And together we aim to bring you the best predator hunting tips, tricks, and tactics right down to The Last Stand. The Last Stand, presented by Lucky Duck Predator Calls. We are the masters of deception. Swagger Bipods. Shoot with confidence. Shoot with swagger. Onyx Hunt. Know where you stand. Hornady. Accurate. Deadly. Dependable. Pulsar. Image. Quality. Kansas. We're doing a little combination hunt on this trip. We're thermal hunting at night. We're calling raccoons in the daytime. But uh, you know, it rained a bunch yesterday. It's super muddy. So Rick loaded up his side by side four door. We're hunting off of that so we can kind of make a series of quick stands. Today, we're kind of hunting what these creek bottoms, right? You know, kind yeah, of root balls. The, the raccoons get up underneath there. This is a major creek. Was always has running water and around here where I live there's really not any cottonwoods for pin trees so the, the coons live in these root balls you'll see when we get started filming here it works pretty good not as good as knowing where you know the old buildings and the pin trees but I don't know we'll see but our goal on this trip Rick's got the uh, the Doc Holliday stagecoach gun yeah authentic right with the hammers and everything yeah yep 12 gauge We'll be running some of that Hornet 83 inch BB out of there. But then we got a little special treat for you guys. I'm gonna introduce you to Tricky Ricky. Yeah. Here. Tricky Ricky. <laughs> Mounted a little stuffed raccoon on a revolt, so hoping some teed off raccoon rips chews him. Off yeah, rips him up. <laughs> They don't come running in. That one was peeking around, looking around. Hey, 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 hey. Big one, big one. Let him come. Get ready. <laughs> now that's what we're looking for right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanted him to grab it. Hey, that was f***ing crazy. Excuse my language. Look. I had the best angle because you were just like this. And that's, I mean, he what? That's four feet. Four feet from you. Yeah, I <laughs> you were like I was standing, standing it, Yeah. <laughs> and so, then I was like, oh, my, here he comes. Uh, he had nowhere like to Doc go. Doc Holliday. <laughs> Listen, say when. <laughs> say when. I never heard nobody say when. <laughs> I'll be uh, your huckleberry. <clears throat> All right. Just like that, we've been working this creek bottom. This is what, like our fifth stand. Yeah. We're making like five stands an hour. Just boom, boom. You just don't know. It all looks the same in here. There's no specific brush piles or right. den trees or just. So you just got to just kind of methodically just do, 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 do. Just where are we going? About 100? Every 100, 200 yards up yeah. this creek bottom. Yep. Just making stands. and. It's we, not. It's definitely not as productive like where I know all the den trees are out west, west yeah. of Melton, you know, and the houses and the, this way is more like calling coyotes. It kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's make uh, that happen again. Uh, Trees. 
Rick, run to the right. Rick. We've got dead raccoons lying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this thing kicked. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that's why you don't shoot a double barrel. You shoot a semi-auto. <laughs> I got surrounded by raccoons, and I felt like I was at the OK Corral with a stagecoach and a gun. <laughs> And them hornady BBs are beating up my shoulder. That gun don't probably weigh about three pounds, you think? It's yeah. fun, though. It's exciting. You should try those four bucks. They won't kick, isn't it? When you're shooting like that, heck, that ain't gonna matter. I wanted to get a triple. <laughs> I never got a coon triple before. <laughs> well, you gonna... <laughs> I couldn't find pulling. any. I you need it. Hey, find you them. need one of them old, old-timer belts with the shotgun shells, and you just start pulling Next them out time. and loading them? <laughs> hey, the great thing about this is the drags are short. <laughs> Two and a half hours into our afternoon coon calling excursion. It's been fun. We've killed two triples. We called in another raccoon that saw us. And Rick put a few pellets into it, but it got under the bank. But we've really only worked. We were on Onyx, kind of looking at the way this creek runs. And we probably only worked maybe about a mile and a half of this creek. We're just going down. They could be in the trees. They could be in the root balls in the bank. You just don't know where they're going to be. So we're kind of blanketing this creek bottom with stands. We do have the wind right. Wind's kind of blowing back behind us, so we're just kind of working down this creek going, you know, 150, 200 yards and setting up. But we, we probably made, I don't know, eight, nine stands in the last couple hours. We're make, making them fast. Let's think about raccoon calling. We're not sitting here more than just a couple minutes, maybe. So uh, everything we've called in so far has been right within the first minute or two. So Rick still hasn't got one to attack old Tricky Ricky, so that's the goal this afternoon. Heck yeah. All Eight right. in the afternoon, man. Well, we're not done yet. We got a few more spots yep. right here. We're going to try to finish out before we get couple, geared up to go uh, thermal hunting tonight. Yep. A couple more. We'll s swing around on the four wheeler and yeah, or get the ranger and get Yeah, these we can get down on bit. right there. Yep. I don't feel like crossing that ice to get no, those. No, I ain't going to. Might somebody <laughs> fall through and get, end up in the ER. Not for a raccoon. No. All right. Well, I missed the first one. I screwed around, let him, and then he banked off here, but I knocked the second one off the bank. Disappointed a little. I tried to let the thing hit. I wanted him to hit the dang thing, and then he, I don't know. Yeah, I'm <laughs> disappointed in myself that I missed this one right here, but I let him get nervous. And wanted he him. bumped it a little bit, didn't he? he? he yeah, was, he did. He kind of. We were, I mean, I had a freaking barrel like two foot from him. <laughs> you're just, you're just hiding in that grass, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, like this, four feet. You this can touch the... was right here, going like that. <laughs> Me and Justin were basically like this. I mean, I could have smoked him easy right there, but he had taken the tricky Ricky's head off. <laughs> I don't know. Disappointed, I missed. <laughs> well, man, that was damn fun. That was. I mean, I tell you what, if you're watching this, if you have half a smile as what we had finishing <laughs> that hunt up, 
I mean, 10, 10 raccoons in about four hours. Yep. Saw some of the wildest stuff. You shooting them at five, hey, like four or five feet doc, off the end of your shotgun. Dark holiday, say when. <laughs> <laughs> it was. That was great, man. I, it was fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to go thermal hunt tonight a little bit, get a little sleep, and uh, we're going to do it again tomorrow. So hopefully we can top that. So you'll have to stay tuned for uh, an upcoming episode of Last Stand to see how our raccoon hunt finishes up here in Kansas.